Welcome guys. In this video, I'll be explaining how many grams of protein you require daily and also I'll be discussing 10 of the best vegetarian food sources and how you can incorporate those into your daily diet. Now let's have a look at the role of protein first. Protein is essential for your daily diet as its role is to repair, recover and maintenance. It's good for your skin and hair health too. Now to the main question, how many grams of protein do you require daily? On an average, the person who is not physically active or person who doesn't work out requires one gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. If the, for an example, if the person weighs 65 kilogram, he or she requires 65 gram of protein a day. Now this number does change for somebody who's after building muscles, play any kind of sports or in audience, some sort of physical activity. People who work out requires 1.6 gram to 1.8 gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. Now there has been a recommendation of 2.1 gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. But the recent study does show that 1.8 gram of protein per kilogram of body weight does the job. You can increase the protein intake according to your requirements. Just keep in mind that eating more protein more than what your body requires does not help you build muscle faster. Now let's have a look at the top 10 food sources. Oats, nutrition value per 100 gram, total calories at 367, carbohydrate 66, fat 6 gram, protein 16, fiber 10. Fiber is very important for your digestive system. Now carb contain are slightly higher in oats but they are complex carbs. They are much better than refined and sh simple carbs. Also, it does make you feel full of a longer period of time. You don't have to have 100 gram of oats every morning. You can go for 40 to 50 gram of oats. You can have an oatmeal. You can have a masala oats, which is a spicier version of oats. You can add some vegetables to it. You can also have oats chiller. Next one is glass of milk, roughly about 250 ml. Total calories, 103 carbs, 12 gram fat 2.4 protein 8 gram now this number does change slightly depending on which milk you get there are some low fat one in the market now if you're allergic to normal milk you can get the soya milk soya milk does have a higher content of protein next one is almonds roughly about 22 to 25 pieces of almonds contains uh, 163 calories carbohydrates 6 gram fat 14 gram protein 6 you can have this with glass of milk and make a high protein snack option. You don't have to have this many almonds in one go. You can have 10 in the morning, 10 in the evening. Fourth one is kidney beans, 100 gram nutrition value, total calories 127, carbohydrates 23, fat 0 0.5, which is nothing. Protein 9 gram, fiber 6 gram. Number five, mung dal sprouts, carbohydrates 22, fat 2.4, protein 9 gram fiber 6 gram number six chickpeas carbohydrates 27 fat 2.5 protein 9 fiber 8 gram you can make anything out of this as long as you stick to healthy cooking process the best one would be salad bowl just add some cucumber carrots tomatoes capsicum any vegetables you like to this bit of salt pepper chili powder and you're good to go this could be a good lunch option you can use different beans every day so you don't get bored of eating them number seven low fat greek yogurt per 100 gram you get carbohydrates 3.6 gram fat 0 0.4 protein 10 gram which is really good amount per 100 gram if you can't find the low fat one it's okay to have the normal one as the fat content is not too high this could be a good snack option just add some dry fruits and nuts to it number eight peanut butter one tablespoon contains 91 calories, carbohydrates 3 gram, fat 7, protein 4 gram. Another great snack option, peanut butter high in fat, one tablespoon of peanut butter can satisfy your hunger. Fat contain are higher in peanut butter, but if you balance with your total fat intake of the day, you'll be fine. Just remember, fat does not make you fat, overeating does. If you're eating more than what your body requires, it gets stored as a fat even if the food source is healthy. Number nine, tofu, made from soybeans. Per 100 gram, you get total calories of 76, carbohydrates 1.9, fat 4.8, protein 8 gram. You can have this baked, good option for dinner, as it's low in carb and high in protein. And number 10, paneer, 
cottage cheese. Per 100 gram you get 249 calories, carbohydrate 12, fat 25, protein 14 gram. It's great if you can find the low fat one. If you can't, as I mentioned earlier, just balance out with your total fat intake of the day and you'll be fine. You can have this roasted, add in some vegetables, extra vegetables are always good. If you sum up all the food items that's mentioned in the list for breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, you roughly get about 65 to 70 gram of protein from the food itself. Now you can add the food or reduce the food according to your protein requirements. Please comment below if there's something you'd like me to cover in the future video. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe, like and share if this was helpful. Thank you for watching.